slices through that knee. We've got nothing pushing the man's hip away. That makes sense? So Reese, really, if you come here, mate, he says, that does this. And they sit down the shoulder knee. If I'm pulling his head down, but I'm not pushing his hip away, he can sink his bum, then push your hips forward. So you say, well, that's crap. And if I'm pushing his hip away, but I'm not push, pulling his head down, you can't push his hips forward, we can just look together. It's as simple as that. We have to keep that in mind. I need to prevent both. I need that to happen. So he can't, he can't lift his head up, but he can't push his hips forward. So he's, he's definitely going to be bent over. Does that make any sense? Now, if he knows how to use his hips like we've just done, we can get in trouble. Because he can slice it through. And that slice took that foot off, didn't it? Which was pushing his hips away. So sort of like putting the guards on the way. Yeah, we can play guard, it's defensive. You feel it in yourself, you suddenly realise how it had changed what's going on with the momentum. Suddenly you're defending and he's attacking. We can play that out, but I don't like that concept as I get older. I like him to be like, no. It's a better way of thinking. In my opinion, you want to be attacking all the time. So if he knows how to do that, I have to use my hips to beat his hips. And I can if I know what I'm doing because I'm already controlling the position. So I only have to just keep staying in front. And this isn't as bad as being knobheaded, but if he catches you with this, you were just a bit slow, you should have seen it coming. Because he's wanting to go through slow. Right? I mean, really slow. So I've got his neck up, he's holding the ear. Keep this one out, we'll deal with this later in the hand. So in that position, what Reese is going to do is going to step across, and that means exactly to go back to his neck. Very true. So as I feel that he's going to do something like that, I can't wait until he's done it. I've got to go before or as he's moving. As he slides across, I'll just lift me up to slide the leg. Do that. See, slide in here for one. So I slide in here for one. What I've done, well, all I've done is I've lifted my hips up and across. But what have I done? I'm slightly on my right side. So what have I got to be careful of now? I don't have no bet. So if he goes around, I push him. If he comes through again with his knee, I slide the across again. Good to know that new Push again. Fair slice. Sense. Let's do them, okay? And then we can look at how we actually grip and how we pull because we don't actually pull him down. This is a massive misconception. How this works is grip and it's breaking the balance is very, very subtle. And you need to see exactly how it works to understand it. You'll spend years, years not understanding the point of it. Okay? So let's play with that. So your foot on your left foot on the hip, if you're doing it my way, you're going to lift your hips up. So you'll be suspended off him and you'll slide out to your left a bit. Make sure you're not in here. Slide back. If he tries to slide back the other way, if he tries to slice, you slide back the other way. Does that make any sense? Do you feel what I'm doing? Yeah? Yeah. 